Hey guys, uh, Dr. Dobson, and this is a fun extraction that we did for a tennis buddy of mine, Peter. Uh, every once in a while, he'll call me with a dental problem, and I'll usually get him in the same day and have a look. Uh, so this is a case, actually fun fact is that uh, my most watched video is actually an extraction that we did for a crazy abscess lower left molar that I'll post in the info card if you want to have a look. Uh, but this is a tooth that he said uh, all of a sudden it hurt like hell to bite on. So we got him in, uh, we took an x-ray, it's the one for this tooth right here. And we don't see anything remarkable on the bite wing, so we took a PA. And similarly, the PA doesn't really show anything remarkable that would explain the symptoms. There's no lesion at the end of the roots. A little bit of periodontal bone loss, but that wouldn't really account for why it hurt so much to bite on. So uh, on the clinical exam, we take an explorer and poke the tooth and he yells, Youch! Because the um, tooth is split right down the middle um, and this is an unrestorable tooth. So we say that we, can, we have to extract the tooth. I told him we could uh, put an immediate implant in for him give him a heck of a deal, but he said he just wanted the tooth out. So we'll do that in this video. And I'm actually just going to leave some of the audio footage in because he said that he's okay with it. I, I wonder if we're going to get 30,000 views again from this. <laughs> That's how much the other one ended up with, eh? It was the, this one, yeah, eh? Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't need to jump yet. So we'll freeze with uh, one and 200 Arcane. Give a uh, half cartridge into the buckle. Let me speed it up here. And then we'll Doing freeze. okay there? Yeah, I didn't feel anything like that. Good. It's called the first premolar, right? Yeah. Also called the bicuspid. And then we'll freeze the paddle. Big open. Look to the right. Really sharp pinch here. But a quarter cartridge of anesthetic into the palatal. Yeah, yeah, that's a big ouch. And then we'll get started once the freezing okay, settles in. Big there. Just gonna use a periosteal to separate the gum tissue. We're hoping that the whole thing comes yeah, out in one piece, which obviously it did from the intro footage. But we'll uh, really take our time because there's a good good chance that the roots will separate and then leave one root in the socket, which can be difficult to retrieve. So we'll just spend some time separating the gum tissue from the cervix of the tooth. And that little lingual wall is going to give way. You can actually see that the pulp is exposed it uh, fractured right through the nerve so this is going to be a very painful situation for the patient and then we'll okay so that lingual root might stain because this is a four so these teeth have two roots and good chance that the lingual root will break away as it gets elevated so we're gonna take our time really slowly But we get uh, decent uh, mobilization on it. Enough that we are able to trust yeah. the forceps to grab it. So grab it there with the we'll do that here. So we'll go in with the force up and end up getting super lucky. That the tooth all comes out in one piece. Oh, got some bone with it. Oh, they both came out yeah, nice. No, I was going to say your other root came out. There. Oh, perfect. Yeah, that was perfect. <laughs> Thank so you. yeah, really lucky. <laughs> yeah, that was ideal. We're just going to... We shouldn't need to cure at there. We're and we don't need to cure at because right, there wasn't any lesion. Alright, you can bite lesion, down so and you're free to go. Just have them bite down in the gauze. Have you taken any Advil or Tylenol? No. 
and uh, give him a bunch of Advil, Tylenol, I'll send him home. It's going to heal up just fine. I think we're going to do either implants or a bridge in there at some point, whatever he wants. 